about my project. How was it to grow to be grow up in France? Well, actually, uh, when I was a young kid, I used to live in in Paris in a district called Le Marais, and Le Marais means in 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 Finnish uh, swamp, sewer. Ah. And and actually, my district when when I was a, a little kid was a, exactly like Calio in the sixties. Uh, so there were a lot of workers, uh, and there were a lot of. Uh, um, poor people living in Visara. It was a, a former uh, Jewish ghetto. And, and, and it was very fun to live in this district um, when I was a kid because nowadays uh, it's almost like Eira. It's very, or uh, uh, King's Road in London. It's only about uh, uh, shoe shops and fashion shops. Uh, the, the district lost its soul um, in the 80s when I moved to Finland. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, a major mistake in my life. <laughs> uh, my uh, one of my uh, best childhood friends uh, is Finnish, and we were in the same college uh, together. And uh, and he happened to tell me that he, he, his family was from Finland. I didn't know anything about Finland, so he took me for holidays. Uh, in Finland, where I think we were like 17 years old, uh, we traveled with Interrail to Salo, and Salo was my first experience in in in, in Finland, and I think I uh, I felt in love in, with Finland in in uh, I think it was in 1979. So I was a bit younger. I had long long hair at that time, uh, and when I began to study um, uh, at university in France. I noticed, uh, I began to study uh, cinema and uh, literature, but I noticed that in the same university uh, there were a Finnish and Hungarian uh, language and culture department. So I thought that I, I could take some, uh, some lessons of, of Finnish there, and, and Finnish became my major. <laughs> so actually uh, I've got, I've got uh, a license of, of Finnish language and, 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 and culture. But I never thought when I was studying Finnish in, in France uh, that I would do something with that. It was just for fun. Yeah. Because I'm a bit crazy. Yeah, you have to be a bit crazy to study Finnish for fun. But you've been living in this neighborhood for quite a long time. How did you end up here? Uh, I moved first to uh, in Helsinki in uh, Krunuhaka. And uh, I've been living a lot of time in Kronohaka. And uh, I moved with my daughter in Paris for a few years. And when I came back to, uh, to Finland, I bought a place. First, I wanted to buy a place in Calio, but I didn't find anything. And uh, I went to visit on the same day something, some apartment in, in Hakaniemi. And then after, I went to visit a place in Alpila. But the kitchen was too small, and uh, and I love to to make food. Uh, I spend a lot of time in, in the kitchen, so kitchen had to be big. Uh, and and when I was walking back to take the tramway, I noticed that there were uh, an apartment to visit uh, in a building. So I did not expect to visit this one. So when I did visit this apartment, I knew straight away that that was for me. Oh. I felt I felt in love with this apartment straight away. So you and lived there for a while. So I bought it. I bought it in 2003. Yeah. So 18 years. Oh, that's good. Then you like it if you've been 18. Yes, years. it's like Finland. I always say like people always uh, are amazed like uh, when I tell them that I've been living about like. Uh, 34 years in Finland, uh, so they always ask me, is there anything wrong with you? <laughs> I've been working most of my life as a journalist, but I've been doing a lot of different things also. Uh, and I haven't been working as a journalist for the last four years. Uh, uh, first, I, I got well, first, all the programs I was working for in, in ULE, in, in uh, ULE's radio, 
in Wiley, uh, stopped. Uh, and, and nothing came in, uh, in instead to re replace those programs. And I noticed that uh, there were some kind of uh, uniformication uh, or uniformization uh, in all the programs. They were mainly uh, studio guests uh, in the programs, less and less uh, uh, reports. Because uh, when, I, when I do TV reports, I, I do it everything myself, like uh, I film, I make the sound, the light, and I do the interview. And, and, uh, and I was not very happy with uh, what was becoming uh, of, of uh, Wiley. So if I don't want to be uh, unemployed, I have to do something else. So I began to study. Uh, and I became uh, a certified Helsinki guide, but also uh, uh, one old friend of mine from Paris who was working for the uh, French national uh, radio broadcast company, uh, Radio France, uh, contacted me and asked me uh, if I would be interested to write radio plays. And I said, yeah, why not? <laughs> so, so for the last uh, two years, I've been writing radio plays uh, for, for Radio, radio Friends and working as a certificate guide. Then arrived uh, the coronavirus yes. and, and uh, so there were no more work for me as a, as a guide. And uh, so I, I had to reinvent myself again. And I did study uh, in Tampere uh, to become uh, a COVID uh, virus tracer. And, and so for the, since March of this year, I've been working uh, in the epidemiological unit of the city of Helsinki as a COVID tracer. Uh, what I like the most is the ethnicity, uh, the diversity, uh, and also uh, the mood. Uh, of Calio uh, because you have a lot, especially my, my, my favorite street in Calio is uh, Fleming in Catu. Uh, there's a lot of very nice restaurants and, and bars. Uh, there could be lounge uh, that you can find in Barcelona. Uh, very nice places. Uh, also, like I, 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 I live very close to Calio, I live in Alpila. And, and when I moved in Alpila, it was a place with mainly retired people. And, and so when I bought the place, I think I was the youngest uh, person living uh, in the building. And now I would say that I'm maybe I'm the oldest one. Uh, there, there has been a huge gentrification in the, in, in the area and there have been a lot of new uh, bars and restaurants. So in my in my street, there is uh, a Vietnamese uh, place, a Nepalese place. I, I like people. Calio is, is is like that. They have, they have a lot of very eccentric people in in, uh, in this area. There's a lot of artists. Uh, there's a lot of hipsters nowadays. Of course. The, 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 like I, I, I said in the beginning of, of this interview, maybe Calio lost uh, its uh, soul also because previously it was a worker district. Uh, but I think you can easily meet people like Tarja Halonen uh, in, in Calio without any problem. Uh, uh, I know that she goes uh, to a belly dance uh, course Maybe once or twice, or and she, you can you can meet her in in uh, Akami, uh, Akanimi um, Hall, uh, and and uh, if you go to buy food there, without any problem, it's something that you cannot imagine in to to, to do in France or in Paris. So 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 people uh, are people are very open, uh, especially in this area in this district of, of, of the city. Hey, Mark, thank you so much. Who would you recommend me to interview next? Somebody who you think uh, brings something to our neighborhood. 
Well, uh, I've been working uh, for the last years with, with a very fun, energetic guide. Uh, it's a colleague of mine. She has uh, Italian roots, but she, she's, she's totally Finnish. Uh, and, and her name is uh, Mada, Magdalena. Uh, and and she, she has been living in Calio. I'm not sure if she has been moving, but uh, uh, she knows, uh, I'm sure, a lot more things about Calio than me. And, and she's, she's very fun. Thank you. I will contact you.